to another video on Life Being Willow and another Cook With Me session. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So today we're going to be making my three-point pasta. I'm going to make a big batch of it. I've been asked quite a few times how I make it. So I just thought I'd, you know, take you along and show you guys so that you guys can make it too. It's really, really easy. And yeah, it tastes good too. So yeah. Okay, guys, so some things you'll need. Um, I've currently got two eggs on the boil, so you'll need two eggs, obviously your saucepan and your boiling mechanism meanness. You also need a chopping board and a knife. I put all sorts of different veggies in. Obviously you can like keep some out depending on you know what you like and things, but yeah I'll show you how I make it and then you can just variate it from there. So I put in a yellow pepper and a red pepper, generally a green pepper as well if I've got some, but I haven't, I've got a, another red pepper that I'm gonna put in because I've just gotta use it up. I put generally put in like one onion, but I've got half an onion here as well, so today I'm gonna put in one and a half. Some tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes or plum tomatoes, whichever you decide you want. Some grapes, again, I like the red grapes. Some of the, the Asda micro pasta, really cheats way, I know, but it works and it actually tastes all right. Tin of sweet corn, a cucumber, and some celery. Obviously, you can put meat in it if you really want to. Personally, I don't, but yeah, it's up to you. I'm also going to put some apple in it as well, but the apples are in the other room, so I'm not going to show you them because I forgot to get them out basically. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put the apples in it as well. And you'll also need some 0% fat Greek style yogurt. So again, this is the Tesco's cheap and brown one. You can use other brands, but this is the one that I like. It is free. And some low point mayo as well. So do use two tablespoons worth of the mayo. And yeah, let's do this. You will also need your mixing bowl, whichever you're gonna store it in, or a tub or something, okay? I forgot to mention that. I'm just gonna start by chopping up your pepper. I really do. It's all kind of like that sort of size. Give it all a chop up. Obviously, it really doesn't matter on the size of it. I mean, I like my fruit and veggies and things like that slightly smaller. Like, whoop, try not to throw it all over the kitchen as you do it. And then, just as you chop it, bring it into your bowl. It doesn't matter what order you chop it in either, because it's all ended up in the same mix. slice them into quarters. There aren't actual quantities. I mean, I just put in until I feel like I've put in enough. Like, I generally use stuff up to make these sorts of dishes and just use what I've got left, if that makes sense.
do it. I'm trying to find more ingredients. Are there paste in my arms? session if you guys have enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i do try to post videos as frequently as possible but everybody knows i'm really not the greatest at keeping to any sort of time scale so it's always best just to click that bell when you subscribe just to make sure that you are being notified as i'm on it and post my videos that way then you just don't miss anything it's free to subscribe and you can always change your mind at a later date if you guys have decided to make this uh pasta and then do let me know in the comments how it goes because I really, really would love to hear, you know, what you've added to it or what you, you know, how you thought it went or how it tastes or whatever. Any thoughts like, you know, 
adapt it make it make it your own you know and let me know how it goes because I, I've noticed with a lot of my recipes I have adapted a recipe that I've stolen from somewhere else basically and I adapt it for myself and to fit it in with our family and the way you know we do life basically what we like or what we don't like so like the the adaptations that I do use like obviously change the overall flavoring and stuff like that a bit so I really would like to know like what changes you guys make as to what I could try in the future sort of thing or maybe I haven't tried it or do you know what I mean like there might be a a better way <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all ears honest so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video bye love you bye